Comprehensive Guide, Backing Up and Restoring Active Directory in Windows Server Introduction Active Directory Add is a critical component of your network infrastructure, managing user accounts, security, and resources. Regular backups are essential to protect against data loss, corruption, or system failures. This guide will walk you through the process of backing up and restoring Active Directory, covering essential steps, best practices, and troubleshooting tips. 1. Importance of backing up Active Directory Backing up Active Directory ensures that you can quickly recover from data loss, corruption, or system failures. Without a backup, you risk significant downtime and potential data loss, which can disrupt business operations. 2. Methods for backing up Active Directory There are several methods to back up Active Directory, including Windows Server Backup, a built-in tool that allows you to back up the system state, which includes Active Directory data. Third-party backup solutions, tools like Veeam, Veritas, and others offer more advanced features and flexibility. 3. Step-by-step -step process for backing up Active Directory using Windows Server Backup. 1. Install Windows Server Backup feature, open Server Manager, go to Manage it Roles and Features, select Role-based or Feature-based installation and click Next. Under Features, select Windows Server Backup and install it. 2. Performing the backup, open Windows Server Backup from the Tools menu, select Backup once to create an immediate backup. Choose custom and add system state to the backup items. Select a local drive or network location as the backup destination. Start the backup process and wait for it to complete. 4. Step-by-step -step process for restoring Active Directory non-authoritative restore. 1. Boot into Directory Services Restore Mode DZ Arm. Restart the server and press F8 during boot. Select Directory Services Restore Mode. 2. Restore the backup, open Windows Server Backup and select Recover. Choose the backup date and select System State as the recovery type. Follow the prompts to complete the restore. Authoritative Restore 1. Perform a non-authoritative restore as described above. 2. Mark objects as authoritative, open command prompt in DZARM. Use the ntudsudl command to mark objects as authoritative, shell ntudsudl activate instance ntds authoritative restore restore object cn equals object name, dc equals domain, dc equals com quit quit 5. Best practices for backup and restore regular backups, schedule daily backups to ensure you always have a recent copy. Test your backups, regularly test your backups to ensure they can be restored successfully. Document procedures, keep a detailed record of your backup and restore procedures. Monitor backup jobs, use monitoring tools to ensure backups are completed without errors. Offsite backups, store backups in a secure offsite location to protect against physical disasters. 6. Troubleshooting tips and common pitfalls backup fails. Check for sufficient disk space and ensure the backup destination is accessible. Restore fails, verify the integrity of the backup file and ensure you're in DZ arm. Corrupted backups, regularly test backups to detect corruption early. Network issues, ensure network connectivity if backing up to a network location. 7. Real world scenarios imagine your ad database gets corrupted due to a hardware failure. With a recent backup, you can restore your ad to its previous state, minimizing downtime and data loss. Regular backups and testing ensure that you can quickly recover from such incidents. Conclusion Backing up and restoring Active Directory is a critical task for ID administrators. By following the steps and best practices outlined in this guide, you can ensure the integrity and reliability of your ad environment. Regular backups, testing, and proper documentation will help you avoid common pitfalls and be prepared for any disaster. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions or need further assistance. Happy backing up!